Okay, in the part three, reintroducing reader softwares, um, reader parameter settings. Okay, and then parameter setting has different uh, tables, different options. For example, reader parameters and it has R powers, frequency band. Okay, for examples, uh, for this reader, it has it has the R power from 0 dBm to 17 dBm. The larger dBm, the further resistance. And if for the other series of RFID readers, for example, integrated 9 dBi or 6 dBi or 7 dBi uh, UHF reader, and the dBi, the RF power could be as larger as 26 dBm or 30 dBm or 33 dBm. So it, so these options are, are various as per reader models. It also can change the frequency band by these options. For example, USA's frequency band, which we, which is starting from 102 megahertz to 128 megahertz. For EU, Europe. A frequency band from the 865 to 868 MHz. So here in we're just choosing as USA's interface. And this and uh, this is reader parameters and this is reading set settings. Okay. This is related to the output format. Okay. For example, uh, here we are USB interface, so we choose a USB interface, and also can switch to USB keyboard functions. And this keyboard function is is acting as a keyboard that reader read the tag and output the tags EPCs or TID or user user uh, IDs to the cursor uh, to as a cursor. For example, for example, I just give you examples. Okay, now we just emulated the keyboard function. Okay, now we select select the keyboard function, and the select key work mode as active. It must be setting as an active model, then can be show, can be uh, uh can be used as keyboard functions. And uh, another part, uh, other part, you can just uh, choosing as output EPCs or TIDs or user memory and a starting address if you know you just can just uh, uh, just uh, uh, fill it if you don't know just keep as default and these keyboard functions output format sometimes you just want to uh, output all hacks or you don't want to output all hacks you just want to output for example last four bits or last just three bits, and you also you maybe need to output as uh, weekend 26 or when weekend 34 uh, format. So this you can just use these options to uh, output the PC numbers. And uh, here in we just to output all hex and uh, output and the IDs with enter key. Just uh, for example, uh, so and it will followed by enter key. So we just uh, click set. Then the reader was setting as keyboard emulation. Okay, now we can just close this software, and the reader will auto, auto read the text and output the text at the cursor. For example, if I just uh, open the notebook, notepad, and I just put a tag on the reader. See that? This is uh, text EPCs. And it follows by a uh, curse by enter uh, here. So using read another one. Okay, to read another one. Okay. So the check ID was uh, directly output at cursor. You can also, for example, you can also just uh, output uh, here. Or for example. I just uh, open the Chrome software and 
yes I use the Chrome you're searching as ID is tag ID EPC ID okay so this is the uh, keyboard functions emulation now let's switch to the normal USB interface We open USB setting as answer model and set. Okay. Now the USB have now the UHF upgrade has switched to uh, normal USB interfaces. So you can just uh, using the stem software uh, like this one. Okay. In next chapter, in next next part we. Uh, introducing the basic function of the read write and active models. Okay, thanks for watching.